welcome to my rolling tackle shop. Tackle junkies, what's going on fellas? Really appreciate you guys clicking on the video. If you guys have not subscribed to the channel yet, definitely consider subscribing. Don't forget to ring that bell. The way you guys are notified every time I release a new video, always smash the thumbs up. Leave some comments down below. So you guys have been asking for a video on this deck system for some time now, okay? This is the deck system, which is a two drawer organizing storage system. So you can put fishing gear, hunting gear, tools, whatever. It's just a nice way to organize the back of your truck. So I've wanted this deck system ever since I got this truck, but I was very hesitant to get it because they're saying a bed rug combined with a deck system would not fit in back of the truck. A deck system is a pretty tight fit, so not much room along the bed for a bed rug or even a spray and bed liner. Now they're saying it should fit with a spray and bed liner. It definitely would not fit if you have a spray and bed liner and the bed rug on top of it, but they were still saying with just a bed rug, they can't guarantee it would fit. So they were getting ready to raise the price on the deck system, so I told myself, look, it's now or never. One way or the other, I'm going to get this deck system to fit in this truck with the bed rug. And as you guys can see, it fit, okay? Now I can't guarantee that with every truck model, a bed rug is going to fit with a deck system, but it did fit in this 2020 Ram. So if you guys have a Ram, you want a bed rug and a deck system, I'd say it's a pretty safe bet. Now that I've had the bed rug, the deck system, and a cap, I mean, I won't have another truck without all three. I absolutely love this system. It's a fantastic way to get organized. I mean, if you're into, you know, being in the outdoors, whether it be fishing, hunting, or just working outside in general or, or whatever, this is a fantastic way to store and organize, you know, all of the, uh, all of the fun stuff, man. I mean, this is just loaded down with fishing gear, which we'll get into that here in a second. Now, of course, you don't need a cap to have a deck system. They're pretty weather tight, okay? But I wanted the cap, I wanted to be able just to throw my stuff in here and not have to worry about it blowing, you know, out of the truck as I'm driving down the road. And I love the extra storage that you have with a cap, okay? But if you do not have a cap and you wanna store things on top of the deck system, or even if you do, and you wanna put some things on top of the deck system, you can store up to 2,000 pounds on top of it. So don't think you're going to lose your storage. So with or without a cap, 2,000 pounds can still be put on top of the deck system. I did add some rubber mats to mine just because the top of the deck system is a bit slick. I don't want my stuff all sliding around there. I just got two of these rubber mats that go from the front all the way to the rear, got them at Home Depot for like 20 bucks a piece. Before we go any further, one other thing I wanted to mention, the one problem that I ran into with installing the deck system with the bed rug is the bolts that they give you. I guess it's not really a bolt, it's kind of like, um, I guess it's threaded on one end, but it's kind of like a little hook. And what you do with that is you run that through your tie downs on your truck. That bolt then comes through these ammo cans here and you just put a nut on there. Okay, but the bolts they give you are just long enough to make it through the ammo can and put the nut on there, okay? So the problem that I ran into is this impact bed liner here, okay? It's a bit thicker than your standard um, spray and bed liner or just your normal bed rug. So with putting the deck system on top of the bed rug, it raised it up to where those bolts were too short. So I just put on like a little clevis there and then ran the bolt through that. That gave me the extra length I needed so the bolt would reach through the ammo can. So you can do something like that or you can just get yourself a longer bolt. But again, that's the only issue that I ran into. And if you guys are curious as well why I went with the impact bed liner versus just a standard one, um, the reason I went with it is because of this material here that's on the bottom. When I go to the ponds, I kind of work out of the back of this truck. So when I got lures and things like that, and I lay them down on the tailgate, I didn't want the carpet because the hooks would get stuck in it. For these, I can just flop down, pick up, and I don't have to worry about the hooks getting caught in the bed rug. A quick shot of the deck system here. On each corner, there's an ammo can, okay? You can put whatever you need to in those. I got rope in one, ratchet straps in another. Okay. Little bottle opener right there. There's a ruler on here as well. Some measurements. Nice feature there. Like I said, I got these couple 
rubber mats at Home Depot, like 20 bucks a piece. They almost cover the entire system, so that's pretty nice as well. So you can see I got a bin in here with some extra life jackets in it, some bumpers, dry bag, net, some wrenches, life jackets, YOLO sticks, some baits. I mean, just a little bit of everything on there. My plan in the future is to get a mattress on top of here and do a little bit of camping. That should be a good time. Right, Big Mike? Yes, yes. <laughs> but guys, let's check out these drawers, man. I think it's what you guys want to see. What's in the drawers? Exactly. All right. If you guys are curious, this is a 5-7 bed. So it's the amount of storage you would have if you have a bed that size. And these accessories in here as well are also from Decked. Uh, I love these here. These are like a little drawer organizers. Okay, we got... I like this little compartment here as well. I use it for keys, extra keys, and things like that. But you can see here, you know, we got our fish monkeys in here. We have a deeper portable fish finder, just some extra gloves. We got some tools in here, Allen wrenches, you know, things like that. Some CUDA tools. I mean, whatever you need to put in there, but these are very nice for just the smaller items. And of course, we move on to some baits here. It's a little bit of everything, so, you know, some grubs. Some craws, some worms. Check this out. An extra scale. The extra scale. Doesn't need batteries. Boga grip. So we're covered there. Mike's trying to steal the scale. Okay, <laughs> we're trying to steal my baits. Okay, but uh, like I said, so I got some soft plastics in here. We got a box full of terminal tackle. We got some chatter baits and swim jigs. Just a little bit of everything in case I forget something in my bag or while I'm on my boat. I know I have a plenty of extra stuff in here. Some extra spinner baits. Got a bunch of extra swim baits here, swim jigs. We got an extra prop for the trolling motor. We got um, an extra roller there. We have an extra winch strap. We have a little first aid kit. We have the rod mule Camillus. We got our ax. We got our tree saw. We also have, just got this bad boy the other day. The Camillus, get out of here, man. The Butch Crafter, dude. We're gonna be crafting some stuff, man, our first camping trip. Like I said, we have the um, first aid kit there. This box here is empty. I do plan to use, uh, I got two of these boxes here. I plan to use these for our camping supplies. So when we load those up, maybe that's another video we can do as well. Let's check out the other drawer. Now I'll take the boxes out of this one so you guys can see really the amount of storage that you'll have in here. Okay, and here, another one of those drawer organizers. We got some chesty stuff, so some recording equipment there, chesty. We got some extra wires, another digital scale. So we have two scales on the truck. <laughs> Mike's trying to take my scale. We got some extra line. We got some extra dock rope in here. KVD line and lure, bungee cords, a uh, little... Um, Accessories for cameras. I mean just a bunch of little stuff in here. I love this little um, Organizer for the small stuff. It's awesome. We got some hats in here. These are those hats for the ladies man You want to pick up a lady? You got to have one of these bad boys right here. We already went over this <laughs> Gotta have the hats for the ladies some more hats in here socket set we got some towels this here, this is my little cleaning kit to clean the boat up when we get off the water. All my Peregrine 250 stuff, my water dog, my wax, and towels, things like that in there. Okay, but I'll take out the other box and show you guys. So you can see how deep these drawers are. So I mean, I can put, I mean, my arm way back up in here. That's a lot of storage. So if you choose to pick up these boxes or not, a lot of storage in the drawers. And like I said, I got both of these bigger boxes for our camping gear. You can see here, nice big box. We got some dividers in there as well. I mean, you can store a ton of stuff in this deck system and jeans. Super, super organized. Guys, I love it, man. I absolutely love it. And these, fit in here almost like they're kind of like not cut out that's not the right word for it but they kind of lock in place almost so once you get it in there it stays in there okay get the other one here 
And like I said, you guys can pick these up on the Decked website as well. Well guys, that should wrap it up. If you guys are an outdoorsman, if you like to hunt, fish, or if you work outside and you want to get organized, definitely check out the deck system. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to smash the thumbs up. Love you guys. We'll see you guys on the next one.